Yeah, Amber, those children that you mentioned, just four and one years old, their ages making an already tragic incident that much more heartbreaking. We're also learning tonight that speed, but also alcohol contributed to this head on crash. When I got back and found out that all that happened and they had a helicopter land over there, I thought, I'm glad I didn't see that. Johnny Grady and his family live right by where that crash happened. He says his wife heard a loud popping noise inside the house and witnessed the aftermath as emergency vehicles and a helicopter filled their yard. Today we're learning this all happened when a Toyota Camry crossed the center line of US 13 and hit a car head on. The driver, a 60 year old woman who died on the way to the hospital. The two children and a 32 year old woman were inside the Toyota and died on the scene. Advocates with the organization Mothers Against Drunk Driving are speaking out today, calling the crash upsetting and preventable. Nadia Marthy, who works with families of drunk driving victims, right, says victims are regularly frustrated and angry when crash after crash involving alcohol occurs. I'm hoping at some point, you know, just hearing these stories and just, you know, hoping that it people realize the importance of it and just take action for their action, you know. And state data shows last year, 22% of fatal crashes across North Carolina, that's one out of five, was related to alcohol. And while PSAs across the state continue to push for people not to drink and drive, ultimately it comes down to each driver to make that decision. Live in Wayne County, Smith Coomer, ABC 11, Eyewitness News. A horrible tragedy in Wayne County, Sam, thank you.